Hi, my name is Samir Malik and I'm a private tutor for middle school and high school students in the Austin area. Today we're going to be discussing what a protractor is and I'll also provide you with some examples of how to uh, gain or angle measures for a pro by using a protractor. Protractor helps us find the measurements of certain angles. So when we have a triangle, for example, and we want to find out the measurements of all the angles in the triangle, we can go ahead and use a protractor. If we have just, um, you know, a <clears throat> trapezoid or a hexagon, and we want to find out what each of those angle measures are, we can use a protractor to take the measurements. So if you take a look here, I've gone, I, I will go ahead and illustrate for you um, how we can go about using a protractor in finding the measurements of two specific angles. So we have um, two angles here. This will be angle one and angle two, and we're going to solve for finding the measure of angle one first. First thing we do is we put our protractor right connected to the base of the line, and the center hole should be where the angle starts. Then we take our liner here and we bring it all the way till it hits the line or matches with the line and we're able to find out that this measurement is 137 degrees. So we have a 137 degree angle here and then on the second one similar strategy we basically measure our line to the base attach it accordingly we take our liner and we connect it so that way we're able to get the reading and we have our reading here as 37 degrees for this particular line. So we have here from these two examples we're able to see that the first angle measures 137 degrees and our second one is only 37 degrees and we're able to find these angle measures by using our handy little protractor. So we're able to understand here on, first of all, what a protractor is, and then secondly, how we can find angle measures for uh, various angles by using the protractor.